for you as, as a seasoned politician. I, I would like to get your comment quickly. I mean, there's the debate surrounding. Uh, there hasn't been any confirmation, but it's just speculation mm -hmm. of uh, President Edgar Lungu making a political comeback. Your president who? Edgar Lungu, for the 63 the, the former president? The former president making a political comeback. <laughs> I, I would like to, to get, to get your, 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 your comment as we go. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I also know that yet youth in Zambia make about 82% of our population. I know jobs are at stake, but it's also about changing the kind of jobs that we do. In the informal sector, the youths can be given credit lines, like I was saying. They can be making gates, they can be making bricks, they can be making, you know, all kinds of things. But it's a question of how the banking system can be changed there to help. And I'm glad that uh, Litmus is saying it's now employing other people. So it depends on what job Litmus was doing. Because some jobs, you can retire after 20 years, but you, you can't pass your trade, your experience to another person. So that's what my observation. Dixon, um, I'm not a person who runs away from friends. Sure. And I'll never run away from the fact that the president of this country is a good friend of mine. That I have maintained. But when we differ politically on principle, you must also give us the latitude and room to think outside the box. If you think and feel that you're being suffocated and your ideas are not being listened to, or someone comes up with the possi possibility of, no, just collapse your political party and join this political party, mm. uh, sometimes on principle you put your foot down and say, I can't do that. As to giving advice, what I'm doing here, Dixon, is a way of giving advice. It's a way of reaching out to government. And I think if you followed me, you will never hear me insult. I don't. That's not, that's, no, I just want to give my points and drive my agenda. And if the government is willing to listen, let them listen. The Zambians will be able to judge to say, okay, that makes sense or that doesn't make sense. But Dixon, advice we are giving sometimes privately sometimes in public and don't think we don't talk we talk but ngawasango mnobita le umfua wasango mnobita tale senda advice ule mpela and in his own view he thinks he knows everything akwata karaka attitude kako ya na fishy of yons kumuleka that's all i can say all right uh, as we're coming to the end of the program i i i i, I wanted you also to give comment on, on, mm. on some of the points the opposition did raise yes. in the Indaba. But first, before I ask this, is, is the Indaba going to take place? What response have you been given from the <laughs> government? I think what you must understand is that my young brother, Honorable Mwetwa, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> gave a reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sends the right messages to Dixon and uh, the others will be thinking we don't give advice or we don't want to meet the, the government of the day. No. The, the problem we have with the UPND is they always take it like we don't want to listen to them or we don't respect them or we have a hidden agenda. No, the only agenda we have here is Zambia. All right. So, decay of public morals and failure to uphold national values and principles, traditions, culture, failure to curb the rise in promotion of LGBTQ issues in Zambia is a concern that has been raised by the opposition. Yes. Very seriously so. Mm -hmm. And for me, as Zambia must prosper, mm -hmm. adding to what uh, the opposition in general has spoken, I've been on many fora, and I'll say it again here. We shouldn't even be debating that issue. The only reason we are putting that in that letter is because we have noticed that publicly 
the UPND government, and in particular the president, will say something categorical about LGBTQ, whatever. But at underground, they are receiving monies from so many organizations which are skewed into promoting LGBTQ. I mean, what are we supposed to think? We're not foolish. From one hand, you're taking. From the other hand, you're saying, no, we won't promote it. No. There is also a development at uh, State House where someone has been appointed the director mm -hmm. to look into certain issues, but directed at that. Why are you even discussing it? Why are you even considering it? What you're saying is, 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 is the truth? Yes. Someone has been given an opportunity mm -hmm. to look into it. Why are you looking into it? And when look, you've look, gone public... Look into said, it what? To look at the issues that you've raised or to seek a promotion of such activities? To look into the LGBTQ. So she, she, is, it, is it a bad thing? Maybe they're trying to... Are you, are you honestly sitting there, Alex, mm -hmm. and trying to tell the Zambians that homosexuality must be even looked at here in Zambia mm -hmm. when the law is there? Didn't you see the kind of reaction my Chief Justice... Honorable Mbamalila got by just making a statement, which I'm hoping he was misquoted, but he said, these guys have got rights. Let me explain this from a legal perspective, maybe before we leave. Mm -hmm. You see, LGBTQ people, for me, have got rights just like you and me. If a homosexual is going to commit murder, he can hire a lawyer, just like any normal person can hire a lawyer. If a homosexual is going to rape somebody, he can hire a lawyer to defend him, just like anybody can hire a lawyer to defend him against rape. So what other extra rights do you want us to give them? So when you say that they've got rights, and these are human rights, mm -hmm. what rights do they have to distinguish between the normal people and themselves? The only rights they want to distinguish is the promotion of the fact that you must accept their agenda. As Zambia must prosper, and I hope I speak for the majority of the opposition, we will not accept this. We will not. We must put our foot down. That's why we said our culture, our norms must be respected. Look at what the Arab countries do. You go to an Arab country today, the first thing they'll tell you is, what's your religion? I'm a Christian. They say, practice your faith. But this is a Muslim country, and you're going to behave as we behave here. Look at what happened in Qatar during the World Cup. They wanted to take this nonsense of LGBT, whatever. They were just told, you're only here for 28 days. You either behave or you get out. And we don't care. Why can't we, as Africans, and Zambia in particular, for once, put our foot down and simply say, this we can't accept. It's immoral, it's ungodly, it's not biblical, and it's uncultural. All right. Why can't we say that? As we go, uh, away from the discussions we've had with the opposition and all that, but for you as, as a seasoned politician, I, I would like to get your comment quickly. I mean, there's the debate surrounding. Uh, there hasn't been any confirmation, but it's just speculation mm -hmm. of uh, President Edgar Lungu making a political comeback. Your President who? Edgar Lungu, for the 63rd the, the former president? The former president making a political comeback. <laughs> I, I would like to, to get, to get your, 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 your comment as we go. Alex, <clears throat> we are faced with massive economic challenges <clears throat> as a country. We should be discussing one person. Why, why has this become a topic? Let me ask the UPND. I've heard the UPND vice president our mother Vamaeva Mutaina Rumango. Hey Valungu must just state his position. I've heard the honorable Mwitu. Hey, he must just state his position. Mm -hmm. Now I'm even hearing senior citizens. Hey, he must just state his uh, position. Others are no, seeking legal finished. legal interpretation. Uh, my my point mm -hmm. they're wasting their time. This fear that the UPND has over Edgar Chagualungu must cease. It must stop. Mungulu, huh? 
Edgar Chagwalungu is retired from politics. And if anybody knows Edgar Chagwalungu, it's people that have worked with him. Why don't we spend the energy and time on more important things like the economy instead of trying to talk about a person who hasn't even answered you in public? Here is Edgar Chagalungu leaving court the last time he escorted Bamaewa Estalungu court. No, are you coming back? He, are you, he was asked. I watched that video three, four times. He was joking. You want me to come back into politics? You want me to come back into politics? <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. It sends shivers at community house. Hala. Mwen so washa nyo waga indi ichi remaku ata against Edgar Chagalungu. Wash mutina Edgar Chagalungu. Leave him. Let's just respect the sixth president of this country. He's retired and he wants to enjoy himself. Don't waste your energy and time on things that are not necessary. All right. That's my comment. Sure. Can and you? I believe with mm -hmm. all of my heart that the former president wants to enjoy his retirement and I'll respect him for that. So even you PND, very focal, you guru, very it's not even an issue. Solve the economic problems, the promises you made to the Zambians. That's more important to the Zambians. <coughs> thank you, Kelvin Fobebwadia. Thank you so much for having made an appearance on this week's edition of Oxygen of Democracy. Thank you, Alex. All right, and to you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.